And it's the Kings to start out. Now Sacramento starting five. Fox and Bogdanovich pair up at the one and the two. Harrison Barnes is out there with Bialica. And it's Bagley in at the five. Now here's Barnes. Vucevic with the rebound. The seventh overall pick in 2012 out of North Carolina. Harrison Barnes won a title in Golden State. Signs the big contract with Dallas, but yet to achieve the stardom that many predicted back in high school. And the basket by Gordon. Well, you have to admire the strength of Aaron Gordon. This guy is adept at finding his way through intense defense. Now, here's Bagley. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. Nifty move. And finish off by Bagley. And how about the persistence on the backboard? Love how hard Bagley works on the offensive glass. Wants to outwork everybody. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. Greg, you look at Harrison Barnes. Uh, what's his best role? I mean, Kevin, he's a hard worker, able to hit the spot up three. Defensively, his strength gives him some versatility, just a solid contributor. Now, here's Fox. He's coming off a 28-point game against New Orleans. He feeds it to Barnes, lets it go from 14, and that one drops. This is something we've seen from Harrison Barnes since his collegiate days at North Carolina, the capacity to light it up for mid-range. Here's Fultz, and it's denied. Bogdanovich, that's for two, and again at Sacramento converting. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Now let's send it over to David Aldridge, who was able to talk with head coach Luke Walton. Thanks, Kevin. I asked him which part of their offensive scheme they feel confident in, and he said, to no surprise, outside shooting. He told me our guys can flat out kill it from deep. So we're going to try to get that dialed up early on. We will see, Kevin. Back to you. All right, thank you, David. Had the space there, but it's offline. Orlando, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. Bagley with the block! And a skilled shot blocker to boot. Love how Bagley uses that height and reach to stifle shooters. And so it looks like the Kings will retain possession here. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Mohamed Bamba, he's checked in for Vucevic. Ennis comes in for Jonathan Isaac. Ross, he's checked in for Evan Fournier. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Markel Fultz. Then for the Kings, Giles checked in for Bagley. Jabari Parker comes in for Bialica. And it's Buddy Heald in for Bogdan Bogdanovic. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Gordon inside. He's against Parker. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the foul. It goes against Sacramento. There is some Blake Griffin, a younger Blake Griffin in Aaron Gordon, right? The explosive, ferocious forward takes pleasure in hammering it down. From deep three-point range, no good on the last second attempt there. I love, Kevin, that Terrence Ross is trying to affect the shot. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. The Kings on top, up by three. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. And as we return, it's Noche Latina celebrating the NBA's connection to the Latin American community. And looking at what we've seen from Sacramento so far, uh, guys, what do you think? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Total intimidation that first period. That is what has helped power them to this early lead. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play on the court for Sacramento. Joseph and Heald make up the backcourt. Giles is out there with Parker, and it's Baysmore at the three spot. The 2018 rookie class has been something to watch, Doris. Uh, talent at the top, but also some terrific mid-round picks. You no, know, no question. Landry Shamit is a guy who I think can be a clutch 
big time scorer who does not seem bowed by any moment, doesn't seem to be uh, affected by pressure. Mitchell Robinson uh, had one of the great shot blocking seasons in New York Knicks history. I know the team didn't have success, but as a second round guy, Mitchell Robinson could have an awfully long career. Now here's Joseph. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Now here's Bazemore. He's tightly guarded. And once again off the mark by Sacramento. Here's Ross. That doesn't go in. Had a chance though to take the lead. And so Bazemore will bring it up for the Sacramento Kings. Their next game playing at home as the Nets come into town. That game marks the first half of a quick two game homestand. Well, this is one of Bamba's big time strengths. Send it back, Mo. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one is on heel. And one of the more transcendent athletes in the game. Aaron Gordon still has some untapped potential. He could make a big leap. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Vucevic checked in for Mohamed Bamba. Jonathan Isaac comes in for James Ennis. Fournier is checked in for Terrence Ross. And Michael Carter-Williams subbed in for Augustine. Balls knocked loose. Fox passes to Holmes. And Holmes throws it down. How about the awareness there from Fox? You, you got to love seeing how he is such a willing passer in finding the open man. Now here's Vucevic. He's coming off a 19-point game against Chicago. And it was never all about himself. He came away with a lot of assists in that game and just kind of kept everybody in the mix. Isaac misses. Kings have gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. That's good from Barnes on the assist by Fox. That's just terrific job by Barnes. In full attack mode, dominating that area of the paint. Go to work, Harrison. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Carter Williams kicks to Isaac. Passes it to Carter Williams. Fires the three. Another miss by Orlando. Here's Barnes. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. Here's Gordon. And oh my, what a slam right at the buzzer. And how about the use of that final possession? Perfect. It's all tied in Orlando. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. Bench, a fantastic game from Aaron Gordon in this one. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. At the four and the five, we have Gordon and Vucevic. Fournier out there with Fultz, and it's Isaac in at the three, the small forward. And that's the group for Steve Clifford as we begin the second half. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. And it's Vucevic missing. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. Well, they say the post-up big man is dead and gone in the NBA, but don't tell that to Nikola Vucevic, an offensive focal point, and he does some of his best work on that low block. Here's Fultz. Marvin Bagley picking up that last basket. Fultz dishes to Gordon. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Off with the layup. And you look at the footwork of Vucevic inside, his moves uh, and counter moves. Terrific. Shades of Kevin McHale. And that's something he's continued to develop in the pros. A response to defenders who often surpass him athletically. Wow, another empty possession out of the gates. 0 for 4 in this half. Brutal. So for the Magic, Bamba comes in for Nikola Vucevic. And Terrence Ross is subbed in for Gordon. Then for the Kings, Jabari Parker's checked in for Bialica. Ken Bazemore comes in for Harrison Barnes. And Corey Joseph subbed in for De'Aaron Fox. Bazemore gets the bucket. Outstanding pass on time and on target. The Magic trail by six. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. 
Here's Bamba. Now the pass to Fultz. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Bamba. And here's what the schedule for Orlando looks like. On Sunday, they'll host the Charlotte Hornets. Then on Tuesday, they'll be playing against Blake Griffin and the Detroit Pistons. And this is a perfect situation for them coming up. They'll be facing a lot of teams that they should be and those games will be at home. Can't ask for a better stretch of the schedule. Carter Williams, he's checked in for Markel Fultz. And then for Sacramento, Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Bagley. And Heald subbed in for Bacconner. Count that one in the Sacramento lead has been cut down to six. That one coming from Isaac. Wow, how about the focus from the big man? Jonathan Isaac, comfortable in the paint. Left side, Joseph. And Holmes throws it down. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Yeah, great anticipation of where the open man was going to be. And Terrence Ross finds him immediately. That's really pretty. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Joseph, the pass to Parker. And it's sent back by Isaac. You can see the long wingspan of Jonathan Isaac coming into play twice on the pipes. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Outside Fournier. There's the triple. Off target with that shot. And so it's Sacramento. Holding on to an eight-point lead, heading into the break. They've been playing some ferocious defense. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? We call that Greg putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. And a look at the five for the Kings to start the fourth. Back to the point with heel to his side. They're the backcourt. Giles is out there with Harrison Barnes. And it's Holmes in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Ross kicks to Ennis. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. No good from Ross. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. Here's Fox. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Now here's Ennis, covered by Barnes. Ennis passes to Ross. Kicks to Augustine. Fires from deep. Six on the shot clock. Knocks down with three balls. Augustine's got himself on the board with three there. Rise and fire from DJ Augustine. I love it. This guy has so much confidence in his scoring ability. Timeout called by the Kings. All right, fans, get on your feet and make some noise for T-shirt making some changes. Aaron Gordon, he's checking in for Ennis. And Markel Fultz is subbed in for Augustine. Sacramento also making some changes. Marvin Bagley's checked in for Rashawn Holmes. Bialica comes in for Harry Giant. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for heel. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Luke Walton was saying to the team. He's encouraged where they are at this point in the game, but he told his guys things can turn in a blink. What we need to do is execute the rest of the way. So we'll see if they can finish this one off, Kevin. Offensive rebound. Gordon, the pass to Fultz. Gordon kicks to Isaac. For three, Ross nailed from three-point land. Boy, you talk about killer instinct from Terrence Ross. What a huge bucket. 
Here's Barnes. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And Vucevic has got the ball here for Orlando. They played a great fourth quarter defensive, calling only three points. Aaron Gordon in a big moment, unafraid to deliver. How pretty is that? Now here's Barnes. He's guarded closer. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And Vucevic kicks to Ross. Vucevic to the pass to Isaac. Out to the right wing. To the middle. Here's Gordon. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. It's a problem trying to deal with the athleticism of Aaron Gordon. You've got to be more careful as a defender. And a tough break is his second attempt at the line. No good. Yeah, being down two points instead of one thanks to the free throw miss makes getting a stop here absolutely critical. Points are an absolute must here. And no time to waste, Greg. Not at this point in the game. You had a foul to give there, but you'd rather not have it cost your team points. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. And he does get the second one. And that narrows the gap to one. This could be a turning point. Critical possession right here. And finished off by Bagley. And that one sends the bench into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. And now we've got a moment for our Jordan player of the game, Arvin Bagley. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. Well, that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. Fournier finds Vucevic. Money! Vucevic so confident in himself and his teammates come along with him. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game what a steal, and really, what a time to come up with it. That's rising to the occasion. Well, this game separates the men from the boys. Aaron Gordon, big time delivery. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. They're trailing by one. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? And guys, it all comes down to this. One shot to win the game. They have just enough time to run a play. That'll lead to a catch and shoot here on the inbound. Maybe one quick pass and then get it up. And so the big win by Orlando in a tight game. What a show they put out here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win. And, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.